Okay, uh, welcome back to my second part of my web browser tutorial, um, which is covering how to create a uh, as good as possible way to create your own web browser. Um, I did something, a couple of things, not wrong actually, but I think that can be improved uh, if you compare it with my previous tutorial, which is I didn't anchor the go button, uh, which can be a problem, maybe not a something, but I mean it's pretty stupid that the button is just right between the text box and actually when you drag like that it's actually disappeared so uh, to change that we go to uh, we're going to select go I'm going to the anchor and make sure to uncheck this one and check the other side um, meaning that whenever you um, do it both actually when you check this one too it will actually stretch out and we don't want that, we just want to leave it this size um, and then nicely uh, aligned actually just just as the text box actually, but the text box is stretching and the button not so um, anyway I put this uh, element, web browser element in this, uh, I'm just going to leave it but you can also put a couple of uh, tab controls and stuff um, in if you want to but it's going to be kind of uh, complex to explain actually it's not that hard but I think it is maybe too hard or something to explain through this video so maybe uh, in a couple of next parts or something or in the next video I'm going to cover it only that but actually this is more around that and uh, so um anyway I'm going to put also the code in for stop forward and back so just go to back first and then it's going to be wb1 dot um, uh, oh, dot uh, go back not back but go back um, so forward is actually kinda similar only than go forward um, also stop is going to be wb1 dot stop it's really easy actually no hard thing. So, um, to make it all gonna organize, I mean, I have like ten subs or something. Well, not really, but I mean, uh, this is actually not kind of nicely organized. So, I'm going to type in a uh, that sign. I don't know how you can call it. Some kind of uh, well, I don't know. It's a, con a shift three, and then you type in region, and then a quotes, and let's do um, web browser browser navigation navigation meaning I go to the end of the navigation subs actually and I'm going to type in the same uh, icon uh, symbol so uh, shift 3 and then and region meaning that now I can collapse all this stuff and now it's showing you web browser navigation so it's really more uh, I mean it's more organized actually so ha, I think you probably see the difference between this and this uh, so anyway um, yeah let's uh, go to the uh, this uh, web browser uh, thing uh, uh, how do you call it again uh, I'm just uh, losing my mind or something uh, the web browser element and let's go to uh, um let's see if I can find that um actual element uh or event actually. Um meaning that uh whenever I am going to browse well I'm just going to show you right that right now. So I'm going to debug it again. I wanna type in http colon slash slash youtube dot com forward slash gnbjbnk uh, well it is showing you I hope so at least yes it does actually uh, oh uh, by the way you can see the go button is nicely uh, going right um, so this is actually my channel and yes it is uh, Dutch but it, I don't think you you matter um, so anyway let's see the address is now this uh, so HTTP uh, and then youtube.com slash my username um, so let's uh, view my video about multi-threading and see it actually doesn't change this uh, 
text because the text will only be changing when you type something in and then it will be uh, when you press enter or press go um, it will only actually say the browser to navigate through that and when the browser is navigating through clicking some kind of link it doesn't actually change in there uh, so we're going to solve that if I can find that event it's um, uh, location changes so now well I don't think that it is this but we can change um, uh, let's see region no 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 ha <laughs> damn it um oh well let's just try this one so txt url dot text equals wb1 dot url how well dot to string then um otherwise you'll give an error because a String dot text cannot be converted into a system dot URI. Um, so I'm going to navigate to YouTube again, and let's see some kind of uh, our videos. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't actually work. Um, so I'm going to pause the video <laughs> to actually find sub. I thought I knew that, but it's just uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot it actually. So I'm going to pause. Okay, so I actually did not found the right one, but I think I you can use this one actually. It's called uh, navigating. So when it is navigating, actually, it is just going to refresh um, that uh, the text box. So I hope it will work. Uh, so let's. Oh uh, well, I gotta have to find something. I'm going to uh, just setting a home page or something. I'm going to do that later. Um, so yeah, see now it did actually work. So see now it's changed, and let's go to uh, my channel or something. Uh, see now it's actually changing the URL. Okay, so that is right. Um, we can actually add a button. Um, let's add it. Just uh, well, let's firstly position this one right because I see this space is not. Uh, equals to that space, but it actually doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to add a button. Just, just. Well, I don't think it is the right position, but I. Okay, it's just a video to show you some kind of tricks and how you can apply it. So, um, I call the button BTN Home, of course. I change the text to Home, of course. Uh, so okay, so let's go to the code of that. Um, let's firstly align it. I thought it wasn't aligned that nice, but okay. Um, so the code is actually really easy. I'm going to drag this up in web, bro web browser navigation. So just select all of it, and then just drag drag it into the region where it is still in web browser navigation. So I'm going to type in uh, um, let's set a home page string. Um, so uh private um let's say uh home page as string equals my dot my settings and then I'm going to go to the project and go to uh, the project name and then properties you go to um settings and here you can see something I'm going to change the name it's showing you setting I'm going to change that to uh home page a uh, string is going to be or oh, well type is going to be string scope is going to be user and value is going to be http colon and then whatever you want uh, to do so let's uh, use my channels for instance um let's go back to the form code uh, if it will load actually um so now we have here an error because you have to put in my dot my settings dot how well it is not here um so let's do it like that and then private setting maybe you want another setting to load so setting as new my dot my settings um so on the form load actually let's collapse the or well let's uh close that sub actually the region um we'll go to the form load and we're going to type in um 
home page equals to setting dot home page and then uh, wb1 dot navigate and then home page um yeah that's just right actually um it is also actually kind of navigating but I mean it's just actually common so um and I look at the time and I see it's already at the 10 minutes so check uh, my previous tutorial on my next uh, one so email can be sent to the email address in the video description so thanks for watching this video um, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me again and I'll catch you later and of course in the next part